Hey, it's been a few days and thought I would check in. Um, so just reflecting on this week, um, Wednesday, I um, noticed that I started to lose some of my hair already. Um, that was a bit of a shocker and not something that I anticipated happening so soon. I'm only two sessions in of 12, and the last go-round that happened after six sessions um, and had a pretty, you know, it, it impacted my hair. I ended up having hair, but it impacted my hair um, for sure. It ended up becoming very, uh, very light and thin, and um, it was soft, but um, it felt very much like patient hair. Um and while I've employed some of the strategies I learned a year ago, which is, uh, you know, while I'm uh, making sure I'm doing my showering and whatnot, I'm not washing my hair as often and hoping to save uh, the hair that is on my head. Uh, Wednesday, I really freaked out about it. And, um, you know, this idea of losing my hair is scary. And, you know, I was talking to a good friend who shared her um, insight that, you know, it is part of my personality and just like the exec losing executive functioning that sometimes happens along the way, which impacts my job and also part of my personality, um, you know, and these are things you can't really control and that's scary. Um, I also want to just share with people, I know it's, it feels very vain and um, in the overall scheme of things, you know, surviving this is much more important than my hair. But I share it with you just to have some sympathy for people that are going through this. All of us react differently to the idea of losing hair. Uh, I have a very good friend who went through breast cancer who handled it just like a couple of good friends that are going through breast cancer that handled it like warriors and shaved their head and, and, you know, I'm, I'm sure had their emotions about it, but man was so inspiring and, you know, I'm not quite there. Um, and so I appreciate that sometimes the response from folks is don't worry, it's just hair and it'll grow back. And all of that is true. And I know it is true, but it doesn't make it less scary for me to go through. Um, so my word of advice for you, if you're talking to somebody who's losing their hair, is just to ask them how they're feeling about it and ask where you can support them. Um, I know just having friends acknowledge that it's scary and it's okay to be afraid about it made a big difference um, for me this week. And it is scary to not be able to control everything that happens with this. Um, at the same time, I count myself very lucky that I'm in the spot that I'm in, that I'm getting the medical care, that I'm getting, that the prognosis is good. Um, and you know, I was thinking about it. In many ways, I'm a happier person now than I've been in many years. And I think it's this recognition of the life I've had, the life I have, the people that are in it, appreciating the day-to-day -day much more, appreciating my job, um, honestly being more comfortable with just who I am and less focused on um, achievement. Um, and um, it's it's been really good. And these videos have been really helpful. I appreciate you guys watching them. What's so been so powerful for me is being, as I jokingly say, a recovering perfectionist. Um, I'm not editing these videos. So you have to, you have to deal with my ums and ahs and my, my stuttering. But uh, but in general, I feel like they've been really helpful for me to share my voice and to share with you what I have going on. Um, so I just wanted to share a little bit about what's, what's happening with me this week. Overall, I'm feeling good. I'm sleeping well. I have a little bit of soreness in my mouth. 
um, some tenderness in my gums. I have a dentist checkup tomorrow, which generally you don't want to do once you've started chemo, but my counts are good, so I'm going to do it and get the cleaning done. Um, but otherwise, I'm doing well. I'm feeling like me. Did some good work work this week. Um, I'm glad to have the brain for that. And um, yeah, so counting my blessings. I'm a happy person. I'm happier than I've ever been. To show you my shirt about always the optimist. And that's what I am. Always the optimist. That doesn't mean I don't have moments of fear and um, this, the concerns um, don't happen. They happen. I just know I'm on the right path and I'm doing what I need to do. And I thank you all for your love and support. And um, love you. All right. Have a great week. Take care, everyone. Bye.